Hey everybody, one that always bored, never boring. Dice hate me. This is a given. Dice have never got my back, but they will stab me in it every chance they get. Despite that, I like dice. I like them a lot. Additionally, I am not immune to the endorphin hit that comes from opening a blind packaged product. So, when the good people at Mystery Dice Goblin asked me if I would review some of their mystery dice bags, how could I refuse? I have here three mystery bags. These have a recommended retail price of £6.99, although there always seems to be an offer of some kind going on on the Mystery Dice Goblin website to help you get a better deal. For example, you can buy three packs for £15 or six packs for £25. And these bags each contain a full set of seven Mystery Dungeons & Dragons dice. That's a D4, D6, D8, D10, D12, D20 and a percentile dice. But of course, part of the selling point here is you don't know exactly which dice you are getting. You are getting a random pick from over 100 unique sets available in all kinds of colours and styles. And if one set of dice just isn't enough for you, Mystery Dice Goblin have made it easy to receive a steady stream of new dice with a subscription service. You get new dice every month and free gifts at 3, 6, 9 and 12 months. That's all well and good, but what are you getting for your money? Let's rip into these bags to find out. This is our first pack and... We have a set of black and blue swirl dice with gold numbering. These are really nice. Pretty standard fare for this type of thing, but nicely made. The numbers are cleanly engraved and inked, and these seem pretty readable to me. It's a 16mm set, so the D6 measures 16mm across, and they have a decent weight to them. You are, of course, missing your second D20, which you might want for rolling on advantage or disadvantage, but personally, I always roll my D20 separately for a bit of extra tension anyway. And hey, I have more bags to open, so that means I have more D20s right here. Let's see what our second bag has in store. It looks like... Purple Glitter Dice. These are cute. As before, it's another full set of seven, and these ones have... Uh, purple or blue numbering. My colour recognition isn't great, and it's hard for me to tell. The dice are flecked with purple glitter though. Very pretty, I think, but for me, these ones aren't all that readable. My daughter has been playing D&D for a little while. She has an after-school group she plays with, and I am absolutely positive she would love these dice. So while these dice aren't going to be for me personally, I will be passing them on to her. We are almost done. We have just one more bag to open, and in this pack we have... White dice. For a second I thought they were completely plain white dice with black numbering, which wouldn't have been very exciting, but they do have splotches of green colouring in them too. I looked these up on the website, and these are called Plague Green. As a DM who enjoys throwing zombies and diseased enemies at heroes, and a fan of Death Guard to boot, I can appreciate that. But if green isn't your thing, I know that there are red and yellow splatter dice available as well. As with the other two sets, these are standard size with 16mm D6s. The numbering is deep and well coloured, and this particular set is very readable. I would say the most readable of the three. Very nice. And there we go, that's three sets of dice, all quite different, all nicely made, and all seemingly durable enough to stand up to regular play. But with any D&D dice set, the true test of quality is in the roll. Will any of these dice support me in my heroic, or indeed dastardly, endeavours? I have here in my hand the three D20s. That's three chances for success. Let's see what happens. And look at that, not too bad at all. The blue dice came up at 11, which might just scrape through a few tests. The Plague Dice did better at 13. I think in most situations that is going to be a successful roll. But look at that. The Purple Glitter Dice came up with a natty 20 on the very first try. That's what I like to see. Maybe I won't be giving this set to my daughter after all. And these are pretty fun, right? I think these mystery bags would make a great little stocking filler for the role player in your life. They are reasonably priced, and not knowing exactly what each pack contains adds some extra fun. And of course, if you like to keep mixing up the dice you use, you could always take out one of those subscriptions. However, if you really aren't into the idea of the blind bags, fear not. 
Mystery Dice Goblin do offer all of their dice sets separately as well. You pay a little more for knowing what you are getting, but you get to fish out your favourite set from the many different designs without relying on luck. Why not check out the options for yourself? I'll put a link to the website in the video description below. And if you do place an order, don't forget to mention you heard about them here. All that's left for me to do is say thank you to Mystery Dice Goblin for sending these dice for review, and thank you for watching. If you like this video, please consider pressing the like button. If you really like this video, please consider subscribing if you don't already do so. And hopefully, I'll see you all again very soon. Bye bye everyone. Bye bye.